Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Maura Agnarul from Maynooth University, and it's my honour to announce today the winner of the 2021 Jennifer Burke Award for Innovation in Teaching and Learning. But before I do that, just a little bit of background on the award. So this award is made jointly by ILTA and by DCU in memory of Jennifer Burke. Jen worked in DCU as a learning technologist and she was one of the founding members of ILTA. And this award recognises innovative practice in teaching and learning in Ireland. And in particular, it reflects and remembers Jen's vibrancy, her creativity, her energy and her passion for learning. In 2009, we commissioned the artist Magella O'Neill's Collins to create two paintings for the award, um, one of which you can see hopefully behind me now. Michelle, Magella is based in Cherkin Island and her work is inspired by the surrounding seascapes and landscapes. And one of the reasons we elected to work with Magella is because Jen loved the sea. So these magnificent paintings reside in the Helix in DCU and there is a plaque between them which lists the names of previous award winners. So submissions this year were made by way of a five minute video and a short accompanying text and they were evaluated on the basis of three criteria and they were innovation and creativity, impact and then quality and creativity of the submission. And thank you very much to our evaluation panel for this year, who were Tom Farley, Mark Glynn, Jen Harvey, Claire McAvinia, and Annette Sweeney. So thank you to all of you for all of your work in evaluating the submissions. The quality of the entries this year was absolutely outstanding. And on behalf of the evaluation panel, I'd really like to thank, really sincerely thank everyone who took the time to make a submission for the award for 2021. But, there can only be one winner. And so it is my pleasure to announce that the 2021 winner of the Jennifer Burke Award is Dr. John Murray from NUI Galway for his submission, Filmmaking as a Learning Tool. So I might just ask you, John, to say hello so that we can see you while we take a moment to congratulate you. Hello, Morag. Hello, everybody um, in ILTA. And thanks so much for this, um, this uh, award. It's a huge honour. And um, just to say that, although it says John Murray and UI Galway, there's a huge team of people who helped me with this. Uh, the, the folk in the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, Celt in Galway. And I have colleagues in, in the United States, Belgium. It's a huge creative endeavour to put together this project. So I'm very much standing on the shoulders of giants. Brilliant. Thank you, John. You're very modest. So what I might do now is I'm going to share with you all the video from John and his team's winning submission. I say, Bones, is something on your mind? Indeed, my dear Watson. Are you aware of a certain Mr. Charles Darwin? Life has existed on Earth for at least three and a half billion years. During this vast stretch of time, living organisms have continuously changed and adapted, overcoming several devastating mass extinction events along the way. Much of this important and profoundly moving evolutionary story has been relayed to us through the fossil record. Digital storytelling has proven a powerful tool for encouraging student engagement, particularly when it allows them to present their ideas to much wider audiences. Despite this, the use of student-produced films as a pedagogical tool remains relatively underdeveloped. This educational project was created to bridge this experiential gap for science students by empowering them to visually document and ultimately communicate the epic narrative of the evolution of life on Earth. Since 2011, undergraduate students have worked in small teams to research a significant theme relating to the evolution of life and then produced a short documentary style film on their chosen topic. 
a highly structured teaching program consisting of a series of interactive workshops has been designed to take these students on a journey through all of the phases of filmmaking. The student teams storyboard, script, film and finally edit their film productions in just six weeks before uploading them into the public domain on YouTube. The vast majority of the students who make these short films have no prior training in filmmaking and there are no production budgets. The films are literally made from scratch with smartphones and laptops and much of what appears on screen is created by the students themselves. None of this has ever proven a limitation. The students generally relish the challenge and instinctively recognize the need to pitch their films at an appropriate level for a general audience. Student feedback is collected every year and the filmmaking program regularly modified and enhanced in light of those constructive comments. Students can immediately see the impact of their work on YouTube and they quickly appreciate the digital EPE legacy that they have created. The value of this multimodal teaching approach is that it engages all of the major learning domains. Cognitive skills are enhanced through acquisition, analysis and communication of knowledge and practical skills are honed through deployment and use of technology. The students also develop their team working skills and they find the overall learning experience enjoyable and novel, positively impacting on the effective domain. These student produced films have now reached a very wide international audience on YouTube and received a fantastic response with lots of positive, encouraging and constructive comments from viewers. It is clear that the initiative has resonated with the general public and in a sense, it has closed a much wider circle of learning. One viewer even remarked, a DIY documentary, cool, neatly encapsulating the ethos behind the entire film project. We have enough evidence to put together a timeline and to consider several hypotheses. Yet I am still at a loss for an answer to where the fossils are. <laughs> Seems to me the great Sherlock Bones is in a jam with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Watson, that's it! What on earth, Bones? Preservation, that's the key. It's been staring me in the face this whole time. The stem groups, the basal animals, they could only need trace fossils, or perhaps none at all. The conditions were not suitable to preserve the organisms themselves. Well, bless my bones. You are a wonder. Paleontology, my dear Watson. So congratulations again, John, and this fantastic achievement. I can see some congratulations coming in through the chat. So do feel free to add to that. Um, please do congratulate John. It's a fantastic project and a very worthy winner for this year. So that concludes the presentation of the 2021 Jennifer Burke Award for Innovation in Teaching and Learning.